tendencies of the suicidal variety. Destroying of pigs. London Ham Chesterington based power trio with a penchant for the voodoo. The launch of a gaming channel. All of these words reference things coming up in this video, which I'll do now. Okay, now, originally I wanted to do a standalone review for Pig Destroyer but uh, I'm simply not gonna have time this week. But uh, I still wanted to do the reviews and I thought I might as well do a couple of other albums while I'm here. So let's get started. The first one I'm actually gonna have a look at is uh, Suicidal Tendencies, the new album. Still psycho punk after all these years. Now I wasn't aware that there was a new Suicidal Tendencies album that was coming out. Um, but I happened to see this in the store, so I bought it. Though it is a Suicidal Tendencies album, it's actually a re-recording of a solo album that Mike Muir did back in 1996. Lost my brain once again. Which he released under the moniker Psycho Maiko. It's basically a re-recording of that album, but it's under the moniker of Suicidal Tenses. Mike Muir is surely one of the greatest frontmen of all time. I mean, he's just phenomenal. I've had the uh, fortune of seeing Suicidal Tenses live quite a number of times over the years, and Mike has never disappointed. He's always, he's always on top form. He's great. He's such an entertaining guy. I like his attitude. I always remember seeing a documentary where he said something about it, what his dad told him about how uh, failure isn't about failing. Failure is not trying in the first place. Um, I think that's uh, something that a lot of people could aspire to. What are you blithering on about, Benjamin? On this album, not only do we have the wonderful Mike Muir, but we have Dave Lombardo of Slayer fame. But one thing I always love about Dave's playing, as technical as it is and as awesome a player as he is, there's always this sort of feeling that it's about to come off the rails. It's like that controlled chaos sort of thing. I think that works quite well with this album. We've also got Dean Pleasance, who does some uh, great lead work, as well as the riffage, obviously. And we have Ra Diaz on bass, who does a great job as well. It's a real old school feel to this in both the style of the songs and the production. First track is I Love Destruction. Violence isn't the only option. Till my fist hits your face. Another one worth mentioning is All Kinda Crazy. You say violence. We say fun. You say violence. We say none. You say violence. We say love. What a lovely message. A couple of others worth pointing out. There's a real good double whammy of uh, Lost My Brain once again and another song called Nothing To Lose. Both had a real old school suicidal vibe, sounded really good. Uh, there's another song called Gonna Be Alright, which had a real frenetic pace to it. Kind of reminded me of... um. I want to be a fascist pig. Definitely uh, an old school suicidal sound to this. But uh, yeah, I highly worth checking it out. Suicidal tendencies. Still psycho punk after all these years. Check it out. Next up, Pig Destroyer. Head cage. Mm. Um, not too much to say about this one. Heavy as hell. Sounded great. Loved it. Some real technical playing in this. Special shout out, I think, has to go to Adam Jarvis, who's uh, playing the drums on this album. Phenomenal job. Some of the blast beats he was doing on this was just so on point. Loved the playing. Standout track for me was a track called Army of Cops. Had a real cool sort of breakdown bridge section in it, which I really, uh, which I really, really enjoyed. So, Pig Destroyer, Head Cage. Check that one out if you like uh, heavy technical music. And uh, thirdly, and lastly, in terms of the albums, there's, an al there's a band that I highly recommend you check out called Voden. And they've got an album called Ascend. Unfortunately, I don't have a physical copy. Uh, I'm waiting for it to turn up, but I've been listening to it all weekend and it's great. It's kind of classed as hard rock music, but there's definite elements of progressive metal. Uh, you've got thrash in there, a lot of thrash. There's, some of the riffs in this are absolutely awesome. There's also huge doomy slabs of Sabbath in here as well, which are absolutely awesome, along with African uh, instrumentation, percussion uh, in particular. Special shout out to front woman Chantelle Brown, very reminiscent of Skin from Skunk and Nancy in terms of her voice. In fact, uh, somebody actually wrote, although this is nothing to do with skin, it's, it's almost like Aretha Franklin was fronting royal blood. So that gives you an idea of what you can expect. Phenomenal voice, absolutely fantastic voice. Opener, Spirits Past, packed full of awesome riffs, great drumming, and uh, again, Chantel's fantastic voice. You're gonna love this one. Second track is Started From. This had a, this had a huge riff that wouldn't be out of place at all on a Cathedral album real sabbath inspired doomy doomy riff time honored has got some more mellower moments in it with along along with a lot more of the african inspired instrumentation and the album closer for your kin has some real sludgy riffs again with some african inspired instrumentation and chantelle's incredible voice i highly recommend you check out this album check out this band i think we're going to see a lot from this band in the future really good stuff never heard of them before a power trio from london huntingtonshire and um, yeah, they just they just sound great. They just sound awesome. They don't sound huge. Great musicians, one and all. Uh, first of all, apologies for not doing full-on reviews, um, but uh, just didn't have time. So I just wanted to put something out to recommend these albums to all of you. They're all worth checking out. 
<clears throat> but my gaming channel, I'm finally getting ready to launch that. The channel itself is actually already set up. It's called Free to Game. And uh, the first game I'm gonna be playing through on it is the brand new Spider-Man game. I'll put a link to that channel in the description. If you are one of the people who said that you're interested in doing that, if you can go over there, subscribe to the channel, there will be a video coming out. If not, if it's not already up, it will be in the next day or two. So that channel will be up and running by the end of the week. So yeah, if you're interested in the gaming channel, please subscribe to that. The PMA channel I am working on. Some things take a little more time than others. I've got some ideas I want to do. I want to do that a bit differently to the way I do this channel. I don't want to be uh, repeating myself. So I want to do something a little bit more a little more different give myself a bit more variation so yeah that will be uh that will be announced um at some point as well but yeah the gaming channel is up free to game next video i'll be doing not sure oh the next video i'll be doing will be for strapping young lad city uh, that'll be coming out either on wednesday or thursday so yeah that's the lot um <laughs>